It's a binge compilation. Okay, bye. I just ate basically uncooked oatmeal and it was pretty good. Huh, worst type of meal. You're so chicken coated. Just leave me alone. Is this the boy with brown eyes you've all been talking about? Not gonna lie. I'm a pet him. Oh, your mysterious glowing liquid's green? Uh, nothing. Yeah, no, it's just me, me and other boys around the mad science factory have really been into like glowing blue liquid lately. <laughs> now, like, it's totally fine that yours is green. <laughs> He's screen. Chihuahuas want to be cats, but they can't, and they're mad about it. You consume media. I get consumed by media. We are not the same. Jesus Christ, fine, I'll say it. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy, okay? Do you know what being sleepy does to a person? To their spirit? It should be pitied. And here you are. Mocking me. Oh my god. Oh where lord he coming. I hate my brain because it has gifted me with a memory spottier than that of an alcoholic goldfish. Earrings change your gender, not like fully, but they change it. They're a flavor enhancer, like salt or soy sauce. Chemistry. More substantial gender. PM, you are now in the last game you played. Where are you and how do you survive? Oh frick it's Elden Ring. Guess I'm vibing with merchants, because after hearing their story, damn, they need company. Like, holy shit, the cut frenzied flame content. Not everything is about your blobos. To you, maybe. To me, every other song, and probably that car commercial, is about them. Welcome to Borg's King, where our menu stretches outside of the restaurant and contains every possible combination of ingredients. Would you like Borg's? You get Borg's. Onion is such a good cat name, actually. Normally, I don't like when people give cats human names, but I'll make an exception in Onion's case. How many people named Onion do you know? This close to putting hot sauce on my toes. I, I forgot to give context for this. What context could you possibly give that would make this any better? My cat's biscuit and gravy are aggressive toe biters, and they will stop at nothing to obtain the experience of feet in their mouth. <sighs> I still feel like there's not enough context. Sorry, Professor, I could not do this assignment. So there are fictional characters in my head. Firefox official, are you secretly gay? I'm pretty openly gay, actually. Why are your boxes so expensive? I just want to cover my ass. Me when I'm a 1930s gangster looking to hire some muscle. Please, please be nice to me. I live in America. Do you even know what that does to a person? Do you? I hope this evil reaches you well. Did the email? I hope this email reaches you well. Nice cover, boys. You know, Coca-Cola can remove rust from metal. Imagine what it's doing to your body. <sighs> Getting rid of rust, idiot. That's not how it works. Hmm. You know, I've been drinking soda. My body is rust-free. Hmm, not sure where you're getting your facts from. <laughs> Listen, I may not have the best body, but it sure does hold all my organs in place. Now, do me a favor and pick up my gold ladder. It's right there. So, my friend made herself into a 15-foot-long cardboard velociraptor with googly eyes. You hold on to that friend. Hold tight and never let go. There are some questions it's really just not appropriate to ask a lady. Questions like, how much yarn do you already have? And, don't you already have three projects? Or, where would we store a blowtorch? Ugh. Hey, if a dwarf gets lycanthropy, does it turn into a corgi? A reasonable question that the DM did not see fit to answer. Does it, Andy? Writing prompt. You've been abandoned on the battlefield. The enemy closing in, forsaken by heaven and countrymen, you retreat to the deepest corner of your mind. If your gods won't help, perhaps the inner dark will. You cry out to the void, and it answers. It's just me, sitting there with a little slurpy. Hi. Do y'all ever just want to make a Tumblr post, but your mind blue screens and all you can think of is... Yeah. Five asexuals are playing cards. One starts to explain the rules. I'd say no cheating, but there are already five aces at the table. <laughs> Apparently I'm playing Skyrim again, and by playing Skyrim, I obviously mean spending hours installing mods before I ever open the game. Hmm. 
football player with Todd. Do you ever think before you post? Yes, I think. <laughs> Funny. And hit post. I should have the option to put something I like in my mouth. How dare I only be able to give likes and kudos? I want it in my mouth. Just let me eat it. Just dumb. Combine your Chinese zodiac and astrology sign to make your true persona. I still hate this post so much. I'm an ox and a Taurus. I'm a bull. Bull. I'm so fucking annoyed. Oh my god. Mine would be a horse Pisces, so congratulations. I'm apparently a seahorse. One tectonic plate approaching another. So, are you a top or a bottom? Two tops, you get a mountain. Two bottoms? Valley, bro. I, I, I don't know anything about geology. I hit the blunt and I immediately feel like a content aware scaled black cat. I do a weed and feel like this. <laughs> Get sprinkled, idiot. Zombie girl and ghost girl who bond over their shared interests and similarities and fall in love, only to later learn that they came from the same person who died. Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Don't say that. Please don't say that. Perceive Luigi shuffling up one of his casino mini games in Super Mario 64 DS. Isn't gambling illegal in Japan? Luigi's Italian. Oh, to be a handsome young Navy man in 1930 with curly hair and dirt on my nose on my break from hauling cargo from the shipyard, reading a little blue book titled The Homosexual Life that I bought for five cents, pretending not to notice the banker's son eyeing me in a truly sinful way. Yo, some of these are getting so specific that I'm not convinced y'all ain't just describing your past lives in some weird misconnections faux Tumblr meme. I should draw. Uno player who is staring at a collar they don't have but is slightly too stubborn to draw immediately. Cowboy is getting nervous during a quick draw duel but doesn't want to draw too soon because that would be embarrassing. Great job, guys. Hit the showers. So, Heat Miser prefers temperatures above 60 degrees. And Snow Miser prefers temperatures below 40 degrees. Therefore, 50 degree weather is the optimal way to piss off both of the Miser brothers. In this essay, I will. I hate basic babies. Goo goo gaga, stacking blocks and shit. Listen to Aphex Twin. Weren't you a basic baby once? I ate a cricket. I was hardcore. Yeah, well, I choked on a bullet when I was a baby. Dude, that's badass. Hey. <laughs> hey. What's it called when a furry says they're sorry? What? An anthropology. <laughs> I can't even be mad. That was good. You know, there should be a way to enable anons, but only from your mutuals. You won't know who said it, but you know it's coming from inside the house. Imagine if you knew this guy and his nickname was Andy, then you find out his full name is Android. Imagine how fucked up that'd be. I need to stop posting things past midnight. Yeah, I mean, God, you're just about to expose good old Andy as a robot. He's not one, right? Right, Andy? You're not a robot, right? A beautiful kitten was born somewhere five minutes ago, just a meow meow. Think about that. Plain milk is an ingredient. You add it to things. Chocolate milk is fine dining. Evil info dumping where you just tell lies. Did you mean older brother? Looking at you, Zach. Thinking, <laughs> what if I jokingly ship them? Is your last chance to get out, by the way. What if I ship this as a joke is literally the devil talking? Reblog, if boredom is the main reason you create stuff, then you create more of that stuff just because you are proud and want more of it. Now don't mind me as I reblog this call out on myself. <laughs> How do you pronounce your first name? Itchy. Oh wait, that's not what that said. The concept of platonic marriage is so appealing, not gonna lie. You mean I can marry whoever I want, get tax benefits, a roommate, and I don't have to worry about them thinking I'm unattractive. King shit. This post is a year and a half old and it's literally so funny to me. <laughs> I'm aromantic now. I think you were aromantic then too. Please help me, I'm drowning. 
Whatever you do, do not stop pouring water on that thing. One time I dreamt my friend was Italian. Oh my god. I love indie RPGs that have non-binary main characters who are meant to be vessels in their own respective ways, explore kingdoms that have fallen into very hard times, have complicated sibling dynamics, fall downwards in some way, or turn underground, and have the word soul be very relevant in their games. It's incredible. It's happened more than once, too. Good stuff. Brutalism is when there's concrete. The more conk they create, the more brutalism -er it is. Wow. Humans don't have enough ornamentation. There's the plumage, the antlers. I could go for a good vibrant throat sack I could display as I sing in the mating season. God, that sounds cursed. If I ran a zoo, I would allow my guests to hang out the animals. I think it would generate a lot of interest into my zoo. Would your guests be the animals? Guaranteed lawsuit otherwise? Have faith in me. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <gasps> Thanks. When will the clown sightings happen again? That was fun. Look in the mirror and they can start today. Since man can't judge me and I don't fear God, I've decided to start playing harmonica on my commute. Oh my God, the raw power. Polls on here always be like, LGBTQ character tournament. And it'll be between a female character from a Yuri manga who is canonically a lesbian and has explicit on-page gay sex in her series versus some random shonen jump boy whose gayest moment was a, and I quote, carefully edited Evanescence Bring Me To Life AMV where he looks at another boy for five seconds. And he'll be winning 70-30. Listen, I've been on the internet a very long time and I gotta say, sometimes an AMV can be very convincing. Every day, there are at least a few posts being made. Maybe more. Hmm. Doubt it. All right, trans people, we're returning to the fucking sea until shit gets better. Let's go, everyone. <laughs> Your characters are like geodes. If you want to see what they're really made of, you must break them. <laughs> They call me creepy on account of I, I I'm, 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 I'm pasta. It's all right, man. Stand up. It's hard. Don't be nervous. We're going to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Candy Mountain. You better get this reference or I will cry. Where's my kidney, Anna? Don't play D&D with anyone you wouldn't want to go on a three-hour car trip with. D&D is a three to four-hour car trip, except there are rules and goblins and rules goblins. And sometimes DM gremlins. Like that one! By my own logic, cereal is a dumpling soup. Cereal is boiled in liquid? Pfft, get a lot of this, loser! They've never had boiled cereal! You will become the marinara sauce on my next plate of spaghetti. A purple bell pepper is possible. A purple bell pepper is possible. Reblog if you agree. That's definitely a poisonous bell pepper. They're adding the stinky meal to McDonald's. <laughs> nice to know McDonald's made a meal for you. Oh! Do not interact if you have no whimsy and no joy for the miracles found within the mundane. You pleb. There is no such thing as being behind in life, but it's okay to recognize that you missed out on some things whilst you were busy surviving. Thank you. Christian rock bands are a backbone genre in the AMV scene. Christian rock band making a song. I dedicate this one to you, Jesus. An unwell 12-year-old girl who is a couple years away from having a gender crisis. This is so Naruto and Sasuke. Seriously, Monster by Scala did wonders for the AMV fandom. Uh-oh, you misunderstood a social cue and said something mildly awkward. You'll think about that and cringe every day for the next 20 years. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Not every single long sentence is a song title by Fall Out Boy. You know, there are two ways to read this. Do you play Roblox, Pucky Joe? No, I'm 25. People can play Roblox when they're 25, Pucky. I'm not reading what you just said. I'm 25 years old. I'm 25, and sometimes it still hits me that I can do whatever I want. Man, I wish I could go to the zoo. Wait. Please go to the zoo if you want. I am a zoo docent, and I love talking to grown-ups who are visiting the animals and want to know all about them. Please. You can buy yourself stuff in the gift shop, too. If you have the money, you don't need to ask a grown-up or anything. If you want that toy gorilla, it's yours! That's the dangerous part. I now have to tell the five-year-old in my brain we have $20. He could see in my wallet. He knows I'm lying! 
Yeah, sorry I deboned your boyfriend. I just wanted to see how he would operate if I took all of his bones. The answer is, uh, not very good, but his bones are mine now. Yeah, sorry. He has very good bones, if that's, uh, any consolation. Yeah. Do you smell that? Smells like pennies! That's a joke for the people who have the most cultured of meme taste. The divorced loser energy radiating from this image is suffocating. This post feels like it should have stink lines. Good thing we have an editor here. Andy, stink lines and the foghorn noise they use for cartoons when something's gross, please? Thank you. Okay, really, rate the Mona Lisa out of 10. Two. You want to give your reasoning? Ugly ass bitch! This feels very personal. You know, as the concept of zombifying fungi becomes more and more popular, I notice it's still referred to everywhere as like a brain parasite. So I guess a lot of people overlooked or forgot how in 2019 it was discovered that cordyceps and other similar fungal parasites leave the brain and nervous system completely untouched. They only control the muscles. They use chemical signals to make the muscles flex in real time where they want to go. It's funny how many people are replying, but that's worse. Like you didn't know, that's exactly why I put a smiley. The sinister one. Having friends who love the same character as you is so, so, so important. You know what else is underrated though? Having a friend who absolutely hates a character you have never heard of. Beef with a man who is truly just some dude to you. Ultimately, the Cheesecake Factory menu fails to tell a queer narrative. Tisk tisk. <laughs> Border. How do you tell someone I'm not ignoring you, I'm just disconnected from reality right now, the days are all blurred together, and I feel completely apathetic towards everyone slash everything around me, so it's really hard for me to maintain a conversation without saying that? Brain broken. Still like you. Talk later. Anytime I hear the insufferable, transphobic athlete arguments, I think of that one time in middle school when my boys across team did a full contact scrimmage against the girls team who typically play with limited contact. And I, a six foot, 180 pound defender, got utterly laid out by this five foot nothing girl experiencing the newly unleashed animosity accompanied by violent sport. And as I looked up at my assailant from flat on my back, I experienced a brief bout of heterosexuality and fell wildly in love and then had to be taken to the ER because I had a concussion. <laughs> From flat on my back, I experienced a brief bout of heterosexuality. Took me out. I hope they still talk to each other, if not more. Opinion on apple cider? Not the alcoholic kind? I don't remember having it, but if it's like apple juice, it's gotta be good. Okay, so it's like apple juice too. It's crispier and more apple-y. It's so, 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 so good, you need to try it. Apple cider is more pure than apple juice and it's actually made of apples. Wait, apple juice isn't actual apples? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this is, uh, this is a thing that's happening now. This makes me happy. I'll see you guys around, probably on streams. Bye. Bad scientists whose practice of deviant science is confined entirely to the realm of pure theory and who arrogantly dismisses all these so-called mad scientists who are out there actually building death rays and such as mere mad engineers. I didn't miss that social cue, I just thought it was stupid. Pros of ADHD? If you are at a family function with children, they will make you their god. Cons of ADHD. Oh god, where do I start? Hope everyone's well today. And tomorrow. After that, you're on your own. Tumblr? I got an opinion. Cold, flat orange soda is delicious. Who wants to argue with this? Comments, go. So as it turns out, when you don't wash your dishes for long enough, beasts and ghouls start spawning inside of your house in a similar way to Minecraft, and I think that's a very unfair mechanic. This, this was an actual theory on how rats, mice, and bugs reproduce. In fact, this was the original origin of the term spawned. Every friend group has the bloodthirsty, shape-shifting entity that can perfectly imitate the human voice. Well, my friend group doesn't have the bloodthirsty, shape-shifting entity that can perfectly imitate the human voice. Oh yeah? Are you really sure about that? Translator? Why not trans now? At the ADHD wizard meeting. Sometimes I just find it difficult to hocus-focus. Ah, uh, that's a good one.
My brain cells are all grabbing rifles and heading down to hunt some serotonin and feed their families. This is, in fact, why I keep zoning out. Attention! There are hummingbird species called pufflegs, and they're all wearing silly pants, and that's their defining trait. Oh my god, I love everything about these. Whenever I see that 3D gif of that little heart locket, I get so excited, like, Oh my god, who will be my beloved? Ah, uh, ibuprofen. You were always there for me. I keep opening and closing Tumblr like a fridge, waiting for something to stimulate my brain cells enough to stop being bored. Same, dude. Okay, now what does the word duck start with? My daughter, with full confidence. Um. Some people imagine their conscious as Jiminy Cricket, or the devil and the angel on their respective sides of one's shoulders. I have myself, astral projecting at all times, looking over my shoulder, trying to maneuver this meat puppet in the weirdest constant out-of-body experience imaginable. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm raising my son to speak, act, and dress like a 19th century British dandy, and today he told me, Mama, today at school a group of miscreants tried to bully me, but I bit my thumb at them and said, I pity you that your world is so small and the wonders there in so few. So proud of him. What's the point of transitioning if you're not dysphoric? What's the point of eating a burger if you're not starving to death? It looks yummy, bitch. My thighs are huge because they're full of secrets. Wrap them around my ears and let me hear them all. Who's smooth, motherfucker? Being moderately proficient with computers in the early 2010s was casting a hex on your family to call you Sheldon. I got a Big Bang Theory box set and a Bazinga t-shirt for Christmas when I was 16. My dad wanted me to get a psych evaluation so I could say, I'm not crazy, my father had me tested, like Sheldon did. And after the psych eval, they diagnosed me with paranoid schizophrenia. This, this could be the funniest thing that has ever happened to anyone ever. My condolence is king. Yes, I want to look hot. No, I don't want anyone to be attracted to me ever. Shocked and appalled that these two things cannot coexist. God, it's utterly magnetic when a character's rage is quiet and precise. They don't scream and throw things, but they just breathe. And very, very calmly aim their fury like an arrow shooting inexorably towards the target of their wrath. It captures my attention. I lean in close. I wait for the hit. It never disappoints. Moon might be the funniest thing Pokemon ever did. The entire plot of Sun and Moon is the story of this broken family, all destroyed by the disappearance of the father and husband. The mother went crazy for portals trying to find him and desperately tightens her grip on everything she can. The kids buckle under her and each flee with a stolen Pokemon. One of them even goes goth. And all the while the narrative asks, what happened to the father? Where is he? He's on Bean Island. He's the Bean Man. He's been guiding you through the Magical Bean minigame on your bottom screen for the entire game. Yeah. I know Spurl. Spurl. <laughs> I know Pearl Splatoon can't win, I know, but she will always be pinkest girl in my heart. She blew up a murderous AI with a body count of at least 10,007 by singing a little song with her girlfriend, and that's got to be worth something. What is happening in Splatoon? Gnomes are invasive, sure, but they're generally pretty harmless unless you're, say, a saucer of milk or a warm crust of bread or, heaven forbid, a ripe and juicy tomato. You know you're desensitized if you stub your little toe instead of swear words spilling out from your mouth followed by sharp inhales. You're just surprised to feel. Not to sound like your dad, but if you're not having a great time right now, you might legitimately be playing too many video games or being on that damn phone too often. Or at least without any necessary activity buffers. May I suggest coloring with physical materials? Or some chores you've been putting off? Hell, go outside with a bucket and make mud zoop like you're five again. Take a break. You can bring your whatever for music and stuff, but like, don't play with it. A lot of huffy teenagers in those notes. I mean this. After spending so long getting my entertainment online, there's something incredibly tranquil about shutting it all out for a while to do something in meat space for myself. Just do it. I feel like pansexuals don't come out of the closet, per se. They come out of the... pantry. <laughs> so my school just got $6,000 donation worth of paper, and I'm currently helping sort through it. There's even more than this. Good God. Hey, 
Can Catholics be vegan? Communion isn't vegan, is it? Is Jesus a legume? Guys, please, I need a break. VeggieTales doesn't cover this, and that is the extent of my theological training. I sent my dog outside for standing on the dining room table. This was his response. Rebellion. I'm quick to assume that someone is trying to cheat me. And I don't think dwarves exist. Tabletop's fine. Important addition. This character is a dwarf. Me. Learned something absolutely cursed I wish I could unlearn. Me. Texting a friend. Hey, guess what I just found out? Found a better use for the wine glasses, I must say. That's a martini glass. I'm literally using it for milk and cookies. Does it look like I care about the finer points of debauchery? If neurotypicals are so good at picking up hints, why do they never seem to notice you leaning away when they try to touch you? If neurotypicals are so empathetic and social, why do they not notice when they're mean as fuck? If neurotypicals are so adaptable to change, why don't they make accommodations for neurodivergent people? Huh. There is a Chinese exchange student in my composition class, and we were being presented something about how you can use brackets to signify translation, and there was a Chinese text on the screen, and the professor said to him, what does that say? And he deadpanned, I can't speak Chinese. And everyone sat there in dumbfounded silence. And then the presenter clicked to show that the text literally said, I can't speak Chinese, with the most shit-eating grin on his face. Chaotic neutral. Damn, the Pope about to preach some six verses. The guy beatboxing behind him, though. The guy is the Italian president. Key Francis in the prayers. I will now rap John 15 verses 1 to 17. Prez, drop the beat. I'm going straight to hell for that one. Hey, girl, sorry. Um, We stabbed your boyfriend in the Senate house. Yeah, I see you told him to be aware of the Ides of March, but he didn't listen. Brutus and Cassie has got him. So sorry. Can you believe Target puts out those big red balls out there for anyone to just come and eat? I think there should be scarier bugs that do more damage per second. Uh, I'm sorry, what does this say? About to watch Godzilla Tokyo SOS in the theater. Might report back when done. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes since it was supposed to start, and it hasn't yet. Really hope it starts soon. Okay, it's been 30 minutes at this point. Hope they actually play the movie soon. Turns out they're having technical difficulties with their projector. No ETA as of now. Final update. I just left and got a refund. Okay, so I kind of lied. As I left, they announced that it was just canceled. McDonald's sauce accident leaves six dead and one injured. Danny Phantom. What the fuck happens in that show? This is, in fact, one of the most important episodes in the entire show. If you know, you know.